Lockwood from Crafts 2 and this is another technique video using the brand new Kaleido machine from Crafts 2, the all-in-one die cutting, foiling and technique machine. So one of the questions we've been asked and I wanted to show you is how we actually stamp and can we do foiling onto fabric. So what I've got here is a piece of standard calico fabric, nothing spectacular, nothing amazing, but just to say standard calico. So I'm just going to cut a piece roughly and I wanted to do this so that you can see that I've not prepped it in any way or put any coatings or any sprays or anything onto it it's just standard fabric so here I've got a piece of normal calico no coating I'm going to bring in my press to impress and we'll just pop the fabric down again doesn't matter which side we do it on and depending on how smooth the fabric depends on what look you'll actually get um, you know, I've used calico and it's worked perfectly for me. So I'm just going to place my stamp in place, close my lid to pick up the stamp, and then I'm going to take the Kaleido ink pad again. If you find your Kaleido ink pad has got a little bit dry, get the Kaleido ink and just add a little bit more to the pad to make sure it's right. And then all we need to do is, because again, we're using the Kaleido, we just rub the ink over to start with to get this stamp kind of primed. And then, as per usual, we just use the cha-cha-cha and we tap the ink on, making sure we've got it nicely covered everywhere. And I'm using a collage stamp. This is my butterfly stamp and die collage stamp. So once that's inked, again, we then just move over, press down, and just make sure that we press everywhere because we're going onto fabric and it is quite a detailed design that I'm doing so I'm not even making it particularly easy for myself so once I'm happy that I've kind of pressed everywhere you will find that it sticks slightly to the stamp but there I've got my image impressed and stamped onto there so all I now need to do is to go ahead and actually um, foil this so what I'm going to do I'm actually going to grab a different colour of foil because I don't think the gold shows as well on the fabric. So I'm going to bring my plates in and again, same plate combination, your base plate, your five mil plate, and then your clean, smooth Kaleido plate. And what I would suggest is you keep one plate for foiling that you don't use for die cutting. I have, so I have got a few impressions on there and it can make a difference to how it foils. So again, I'm just going to put my fabric on. I'm taking a piece of the blue. Actually, I'll change colours because this one needs opening. Shall I go with a little bit of the, shall I go with the green? Yeah, okay. So I've got that. So I'm going to cut some green off. I'm going to pop this on. Now this is fabric. So I'm going to secure the foil by popping it underneath my three mil plate down onto my five so that it's secured. You can use the stripe um, and the base plate as is in the instructions, but I find this easier personally. Again, I'm going to bring in my Kaleido machine. I'm going to take my sandwich to it, present my sandwich, turn the handle, and again, then just slowly turn the handle to allow the heat and the pressure to activate the foil onto the stamp design. So we turn it through and we go like that. Again, move the machine out of the way and we simply peel our foil away. And as you can see on this one, it's not picked up enough of the green. Okay, so I'm going to put it back and I'm going to increase the pressure. So if you have this problem, all you need to do is increase the pressure in your machine. So I'm going to take a piece of 300 GSM card, put it down, and I'm going to add that into my sandwich. Bring the machine in, start it going, and again, just press it through. turning the handle slowly. I can feel more resistance now, so the heat is activating more. But stamping and foiling onto fabric is one of the harder 
things to do. I'm going to go through. You can see there now, we've picked up the colour. So we've picked up the foil. So if you go first of all with a little bit of extra pressure, then you'll get an easier print. This is not quite as clear perhaps as I would have liked, but this is all about the learning. So it has foiled onto it just where the foil is and it's worked perfectly on that one. So that's how we actually foil and stamp onto fabric. Take a little bit of time, practice, learn it, and you'll get it right. I have got a sample here that I did using a different stamp, but again, you can see there that was using the red. So getting the right colour can sometimes make all of the difference. But that's the red, that's the green, and that's how we stamp and foil onto fabric. <laughs>